My dear friends, in life we all have varieties of expectations. In Luke's Gospel chapter 24, we find two of the disciples of Jesus. They had an expectation that Jesus will become a great king and they will become his ministers. But when they heard and witnessed that Jesus is no more, he was crucified and he is buried, all their expectations were broken into pieces. So they said, what is the use of staying in Jerusalem? Let's go back to our village. But some women came and said, Jesus is risen, but they are not willing to entertain this kind of story because their minds were filled with the sorrow that we have wasted our life. Many people, even when they come to God, they think they have prayed in vain. They have loved God in vain. The others who don't have God, they are better. No. When they were broken and wounded, they were running away to their village. But our God is a faithful God. He will never allow his children to perish. God so loved the world. He is sending his only son that all of us have life in all its fullness. He doesn't want a single one to be perished but to know the truth and have eternal life. So, seeing his children going away with sadness, the master walked with them. When you move with the sadness, you don't recognize the goodness of another. Jesus is walking with them. They could not recognize. And Jesus continued with the word of God. He spoke to them. Whenever our minds are filled with this sadness, brokenness, it is the word of God that will open our eyes to know who we are, who is our God, why are we on this earth. With all these problems, where do we go? The more we listen to the word of God, the more the truth will illumine our hearts and take away the sadness, fear and worries of this world. And that's what Jesus did. And as they reached a particular place, Jesus said that he is going far. Knowing that something has happened to them. We were sad, we were broken, we were wounded. But this man who brought the Holy Scripture from Moses to all the prophets he spoke. And when he was speaking, our hearts were burning with fire. When they experienced, they said, Sir, where do you go? Where do you need to go? Look at us. The time has become evening. Darkness is surrounding us. You gave us little light and you want to go away. We need this light, Lord. Stay with us. Stay with us. And Jesus stayed with them. Broke the bread and revealed to them that I am with you. Yes, my dear friends, in our life journey, due to various reasons, various expectations, our hearts get troubled. But don't worry. Our God walks before us. He is with us. If you don't experience him walking with you, take the word of God. Start to read. As you are reading again and again, the Lord will speak to you. I am your God. It is I who have brought you into the world. Your life is safe in my hands. Not a single hair of yours will fall without my knowledge. Why do you worry? I have not given you the spirit of fear. Courageous love. I have given my life for you. Call upon me and I will and my presence will take control of you. Your eyes will be opened. Call on him. Speak to him. In your moments of pain and misery, don't keep it with yourself. 
just open your heart to him surrender your problems to him he will address you because he is your father he is your god he is your savior he is interested in you yes call upon him stay with us lord he will be with you he will open your inner eyes he will show you that he is the broken bread for you and you will be filled with his love god bless you lord jesus bless your children who are going through various type of problem maybe they may be thinking that they cannot overcome all their problems but you are walking with them lord you are staying with them lord maybe their eyes were not able to see that you are walking with them they only see their problems and struggle open their eyes lord to know that you are with them you are walking with them you are talking to them through the word of god help them lord to know your word to spend time with your word and bless them that as they pray stay with us lord they may experience your staying love your compassion and mercy in jesus mighty name i pray amen my dear friends every day you have different works and when the evening comes maybe your hearts are burdened your body is tired god's word will nourish you strengthen you so every day at 10 pm we give you the life giving word stay with us lord watch it and your hearts will be illumined with his word with his presence that you can go to rest with him walking along with you sleeping and empowering you whenever you hear this kindly comment what god tells you what do you feel about it we may be encouraged by your comments inform your friends to watch this beautiful program stay with us lord in this evening god bless you my dear friends sangamam plus tv is god's gift for you for our times like comment share and subscribe god will do